Hello and welcome to Pink Bikes Inside the Tape with me Ben Cather. Today I'm in Val di Sole, Italy and I have come to one of my favourite sections to track in all the World Cups. I don't know why it's my favourite but it's in the open, there's loads of lines, it just looks sick and it's in the open so the rain has been on it. It rained lots last night, it's raining right now and the famous black snakes of this black snake track are out. These roots have been wetted up, they've turned black and they are super slippy. There's already been a lot of carnage before I got my camera set up. So let me get on track, get some film, let's see what's going on in this section. Oh, oh come on! Ooh, baby! When the goggles are off, you know it's serious. Oh, he's ripping hard on that. Joe, you mate, you're gonna flip and fog up the track. Whoa. <laughs> Look at ice rink. Yeah, chaos. Whoa. It's not fast, but... Whoa, Jed! Watch the hand! For those that don't know, Jamie here's got a broken knuckle. How's it feeling this morning? Good. Not well, bad. Because it's going to be. Oh. Oh, boy. It was going so well. Yeah. Oh, you know how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, third time's the charm. I don't know if you want to go there, but it made it work. You, you look like you found some dust. I found some dust at the top. The dirt's actually really good. It's just the roots you gotta watch out for. The black snakes. Yeah. Coming into this stump section, there are three lines. There's a middle line through some compressions. There's a wide line, which no one's really doing because it's a long way around with not much benefit. But there's also a sneaky high line. The high line removes the compressions from the situation, but it is off camber and there is a big old root that's getting exposed. There's two lines into the next bit. If you're a patient around the first left-hander we just looked at, you can get high up over this stone, which sets you up nicely into the next corner and allows you to do several lines on the next straight. Or there's the low line, which you can go into faster but you're left with a tighter turn at the end. On this section, there's two main lines. There's a fully low with a catch right at the bottom by that stump. And there is a fully high, which is super slick and off camera to get into. But it does set you up really nice into the next straight. So the corner between the second and third straights is the first proper gnarly bit in this section. There's a load of black snakes covered in slimy dirt and it's off camber and there's a drop into the corner. Very tricky to get your braking right and pick the right line. That area right there is the danger zone. If you are braking hard in there, you are in big trouble. Riders have to get their main braking done on the run up to those roots and then be super delicate with the brakes as they go across them. The high line sits you up nice and straight for going over the roots. The middle line leaves you with a bit of turning to do on the roots which is understandably challenging so some riders were going around the bottom of them. You've come to the right place, play that. Whoa. 
This was harder than it looked and more and more of the root was getting exposed. The other option to miss the roots was to go down the far left next to the tape and take the big hit and tight turn at the end. Safe but hard to do fast. The final part of this section has three lines. There is a middle line which most people are doing. There's a few variations where you can miss some rocks, thread it through some gaps, do a few different things. where there's a new outside line, which a lot of people were finding very good yesterday, but it's starting to get a deep rut in it. A few roots are coming out, a few rocks are coming out, and it's actually quite hard to get into. And there's also a middle line to fully inside, but that's looking very tricky this morning. Oh, yes, Chaos. Oh, he's going for the overtake, no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn. yeah, just got a little bit uh, wide coming in, tried to ride over those rocks and then just slipped the wrong way. Put a foot out and then the other one came out and then just went over the bus. <laughs> so you're going to go for the rocks again or are you changing up? Changed a little bit. Yeah. All Obviously right. that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> cool. How is it? Hill bend, bus. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, tough. Have you made any changes to the bike for today or all the same? The mud tires, a bit softer compression. Oh, yeah. Less hair and just, yeah. Just soft. Try to up. keep it smooth. <laughs> All right, what's this run number six on the new bike? Actually, eight. Eight? Hey, oh, you smashed them out I yesterday. I smashed them out yesterday because I thought that's the best way to go. But it turns out now I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, quite different to the other bike? or? Yeah, real different. Oh, I mean, okay. it's strange to jump on a bike, yeah. and when you jump on a bike at Val de Sol, kind of enhances how scary it is. Yeah. But I think I've done all right so far. No, you're on, you're on track then. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Top 20. I mean, well, <laughs> all right, right, mate. I think in this day and age of racing, to jump on a new bike in quality is quite a challenge if you're on the cusp of the You've got to be after that top 30 bonus. I know. Well, I've got to qualify for <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, grippy and dry, man. It's man. perfect. Just mint condition. Now that's pretty good. Yeah. If it doesn't rain anymore, it's gonna be sick for quality. Yeah. Just a few black snakes, and that's about it. But all the loose parts are so good at the moment. You so. changing things up in here? Uh, I don't know. I'm just looking for no reason, really. Yeah. <laughs> just probably ride the same thing. Just interested. Just be careful, really, for now, and then I go out. Oh yeah. And then inside. Inside. Ooh, hi, man. Yeah, I've, I've just always done it. I like it. Yeah, I just, you today. yeah, I just like coming up and then. Perfect. I'm just got flat. <laughs> no way. Faster than anyone else with a flat. Yeah. Oh, oh you my gosh. Um, Stay on your bike. Typically, I would try not to change my lines, but a lot of the lines here you just physically can't really do as well, and with some moisture. So we're pretty much stopping here to because we've been going low all weekend, and I don't really want anything to do with those roots before the corner. So I think I'm gonna set up high, 
yeah. try and miss them. At the end of the day of riding yesterday, I kind of was thinking like, oh, should I walk the track, look for some wet lines? And I yeah. felt like the majority of them I could ride in the wet. So that's yeah. why I opted out to just not walk yeah. and then just kind of have a look this morning for a slap. Because cool. there's only a few sections where I kind of feel like I should maybe switch up a bit, so. Yeah. Jeez. So that route is getting worse. That's the danger boy. The danger snake. Wonder if that's the black snake. I think that's the black snake. Could be. <laughs> the black. There's a few brown ones as well though. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do you want that? Do you want that? Ten pound? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yes. Let's get the ghost cam out and see what's working. Marine Cabaroo and Tracy Hanna both enter in the low line with Tracy carrying a lot more speed around the first turn. They both opt to go low around the big black snake roots and then here's where they differ. Tracy sets up wide and then insides the final section, pulling away from Marine to a massive 2.09 second win. Laurie Greenland was kind enough to do two different lines, high and low on the entrance. The high line is behind, then slingshot slightly ahead down the next straight. High line Laurie then drops the hammer, gets off the brakes and accelerates away through the next left. He holds that speed all the way to the finish, smoking low line lorry by 0.92. Looks like commitment makes way more of a difference than line here. Now we've got two properly different lines. Brendan Fairclough and Hugo Frixalon both enter on the low, but on the next straight, Brendan hugs the tape super inside on the left and Hugo goes middle. Brendan pulls away on the more direct line and just holds the lead on the exit. Brendan then goes mainline while Hugo swings out to the longer, awkward wide line. He makes it work though, but it's not quite enough and Brendan takes it by 0 0.07. Finally, we have Brute McDonald and Finn Isles. Finn goes low and pulls away on the more direct line. Brute cuts high and is going to have to beast the next turn to catch up. Finn gets it mint though and holds the lead from Brooke. Finn lets it run through the next turn, pulling a little bit more time for a 0.44 win. Looks like it's mainline for the win, ladies and gents. Well, that's gonna do it for Pink Bikes Inside the Tape. Hope you enjoyed seeing this section, breaking it down, figuring out how riders are getting through it good. And unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to see this on the live feed. The race is tomorrow and it'll be on Red Bull TV. There's links for that down in the description. But yeah, they don't have enough cameras to show this bit, but it is a rad section. So I've been Ben Cathro. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you next time inside the tape in Linzer Heidi, Switzerland next weekend. Cool, we'll see you there.